Hello student, this is Vinita Singh from St. Xavier School, Nalia. And today we are going to discuss class 9 point number 6, the mode are no man are foreign. Okay, so according to the title, no man are foreign means that no man belongs to the another country. Okay, the poet just want to say that all men are same and all men are equal. He just want to promote the concept of universal brotherhood. Okay, and in this poem, the poet just want to tell us that everyone in this world is same. All the people, all men are same. They eat, they live, they die. They do all these activities in a same way. Okay, everyone get the bounties of nature like sunshine, land, etc. in an equal measure. We can also say that it is a peace poem which uh, will uh, promote the concept of the universal brotherhood among ourselves. Okay, so let's start it. Stanza number one. Remember no men are strange, no country is foreign. Beneath all uniforms, a single body breathes. Like ours, the lens our brother walk upon is earth like this in which we all shall lie. Okay. So in this line, in this first line, the poetist say the no man are strange. No country is foreign. So he is attempting to remove the borders from the earth. Okay. Which have been erected to separate the different countries, different state. Okay. Then only no country will be foreign means uh, we just feel that uh, we have not any bounties or we have not any borders among uh, different states. Okay. We just feel free. We just feel every country as our own land when there is no border when everyone is uh, freely move around the poet just want to say the entire earth is one and all the peoples who live on the earth belongs to only one human race okay then he says that inside the uniform worn by soldiers of different countries the human being is the same the God has made all of us in a similar way, all breathe in the same way. And then he says that all the shoulders, soldiers are our brothers. We all walk upon the same mother earth and upon our death shall lie in the grave in the same earth. Okay. Sabin ko bhagwan ne ek jaisa hi banaya hai, thik hai? Ab koi depend nahi karta ki kaun se country ki kaun se uniform hai ya fir kaun se dress hai. Sabhi hamare mother earth pe rehte hain, jis tarikhe se rehte hain, unka rehna, peena, sunshine ko lehna, sab e equal measure mein sabko milta hai, thik hai? Ab kitna achha ho ki agar hamare earth pe koi borders na ho, ham log move around kar sake, easily ham log reh sake, okay? To ye saari cheeze jo hai, ek tarah se keh sakte hain ki point jo hai, wo kitna zada universal brotherhood ko aage promote karne ke liye isne ye poem kis tarikhe se likhi hai, okay? Next is Tenja. They too aware of sun and air and water are fed by peaceful harvest, by wars, long winter, starvate. Their hands are our and in their lines we read a labor not different from our own. Okay, so here they refers to those people who belongs to the other countries. Okay, we call them foreigners and discriminate them and fight with them also. But the poet says that nature has given all the bounties, all the bounties like sunshine, air, water, everything will be given in the equal measure. God does not differentiate between the peoples or the different countries. Okay, like uh, ye chalo ठीक है ये इंडिया का है इसको एयर ज़्यादा दे दो चलो ये रशिया का है इसको पानी ज़्यादा दे दो ऐसा तो कुछ हुआ नहीं है गॉड ने सबको क्या किया है इक्वल रखा है सभी पीपल्स को इक्वल रखा है ना उन्होंने कोई धर्म बनाया था ना उन्होंने कोई कंट्रीज बनाई है ना उन्होंने कोई बाउंड्रीज बनाई है ये सब हम लोगों ने बनाया है ठीक है तो जस्ट प्रोवाइड जस्ट यही कहना चाहता है कि सारी चीजें जब एक जैसी हैं तो हम लोग डिफरेंशिएट क्यों करते हैं हम क्यों किसी और को फॉरेनर बोल के उसके डिस्क्रिमिनेट करते हैं ठीक है उनसे हम फाइट करते हैं इन सारी चीजों को लेके वी ऑल डू फार्मिंग ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ पीस ओके एंड देन देर इज नो वॉर अगर हम ये सारी चीजें सोच के रखते तो हमारे बीच में वॉर कभी होगा ही नहीं we live a relaxed life, okay, and we eat the things given to us by nature. And further, he also add the way that we starve during the war. Or war means the winter time, okay. Winter time, same time hota hai. Sabhi countries mein winter time hota hai. To hum log us time pe uh, enough food bhi nahi mil pata boundaries pe jo humare soldiers work karte hain. To unko enough food bhi nahi mil pata hai. Maa pe starvation hota hai. Us time ke uh, matlab uh, aap keh sakte ho bhook se ya sardi se. Jis tarikhe se unko starvation maa pe jhelna padta hai. 
so he just wanted to say that foreigner who belongs to the another country and we both are same and then the poet says that even their hands are same as our and they work very hard just like we do and he is giving all these example to convey the reader that there is no difference in us and the people belongs to another countries okay so he just want to convey the message that we all are same no man are foreigner okay he just want to say and uh, want to convey this message only okay stanza number 3 remember they have eyes like ours that wake uh, or sleep or and strength that we can warm by love in every land in common life that all can recognize and understand okay the point in these line just ask to the readers okay readers we are readers right now okay so the poet asks to us to remember something he just says that we should keep in mind that the people of another country whom we think be our enemies okay jinko hum apna dushman samajh rahe hain the god gives similar appearance to them okay like us god will give that similar appearance to them also okay those uh, to those whom we are calling our enemies okay god has given them eyes like ours they can open when they are awake and they will close then when we are uh, then they are sleep, asleep okay similarly ha he has given them strength whatever we can uh, give uh, if we are uh, fighting or if we are uh, want to win through our love okay so god also given a strength to them also then he says that in every country in every land there is one common thing and that is life okay life means all the things that are living and if we can recognize them and if we can understand their feelings and realize that they are like us then there will be no fights no wars between us okay so we just have to be know that there is an a life life means the living okay all things that have a living okay we should recognize them and we should understand their feelings and realize that they are like us so then there is no fight no wars between us okay stanza number 4 let us remember whenever we are told to hate our brother it is our self that we shall dispose us betray condemns remember we who take arms against each other okay disposes ka matlab hota hai deprive karna okay in these line the poet just want to say that we should remember whenever someone tell us to hate a person from another country or whenever someone tell us to uh, betray him or you just saying that he was your uh, enemy who the person who belong to another country and whenever we think someone to be our enemy and then we are depriving ourselves we just cheat ourselves okay with that time we are just cheat ourselves we are just uh, uh, making ourselves in a very um, depressive mood because we don't know we are just doing uh, something by uh, telling us to by someone okay we are just uh, giving our uh, making our behavior not in a good way in a wrong way that we are uh, taking someone as an our enemy we are hated them okay so this is the cheat to ourselves he says that we should stay away from such negativity these all these things are negative okay so we have to be just stay away from this uh, such type of negativity we should not consider anyone to be our enemy during a war time both the parties must bear the loss okay if we are something uh, wars during uh, between some countries okay some states then the loss will be surely on both the parties and that is why the poet says that war is not in our favor he just says that whenever we pick up any weapon against someone we should remember one thing and that one thing is stanza number 5 it is a, it is the human earth that we defile our hells of fire and dust outrage the innocence of air that is everywhere our own remember no man are foreign and no man are no countries are strange okay defy ka matlab hota hai dirty karna okay when the war was happened okay जब वॉर होता है तो उस टाइम पे क्या होता है वी शुड कीप इन माइंड दैट वेन एवर वी पिक द वेपन्स अगेंस्ट एनी पर्सन वी जस्ट मेक आवर अर्थ डर्टी बिकॉज वेपन किल द पीपल्स एंड देयर बॉडीज विल फॉल ऑन द अर्थ एंड मेक इट डर्टी so whenever war happens it leads to a lots of bloodshed lots of fire and lots of death 
ओके इट विल मेक अवर अर्थ वेरी डर्टी दीज डेड बॉडीज एकट ऑन द अर्थ एंड इट मेक इट इम्प्योर एंड द फायर ऑफ द वॉर विच रेप्ट और द स्मोक विच कम्स आउट द डस्ट विच फिल द अर्थ इट इज सो डर्टी दैट इट पॉल्यूट एंड आउटरीच द प्योरिटी ऑफ द अर्थ ओके जब भी वॉर होता है बहुत सारे खून बहते हैं बहुत सारे मतलब इंसानों की डेथ हो जाती है फायर रहती है उस टाइम पे तो कितना ज्यादा हम लोग उस टाइम पे अपने अर्थ को अपने एयर को पॉल्यूट करते हैं ओके जस्ट बिकॉज वी हेटेड सम वन जस्ट बिकॉज वी जस्ट थिंक दैट अनदर कंट्री पर्सन देन ही वॉज एन एनिमी ऑफ अर्स वी आर जस्ट डूइंग दीज वॉर लाइक सिचुएशन विल क्रिएट दीज टाइप ऑफ वॉर लाइक सिचुएशन ओके so we have to be just calm down and we just have to be think about it that we all are belong to a same personality okay we all are the same we all are the brothers of each other okay we just have to be think about it we are should not be pollute our air we should not pollute our earth by these war like situations and by our thinking process okay so with all these things the poet just want to give us message that we should not indulge in the war finally he ends the poem by writing the first line in the reverse and saying that remember no man are foreign and no countries are strange koi bhi country strange nahi hai koi bhi insaan foreigner nahi hai wo sab hamare bhai hai it's just uh, he just want to convey the again he write this line and he just want to convey only one single message of the universal brotherhood okay so afterwards let's come to its literary devices so this entire poem is written in free verse okay so there is no rhyme scheme at all so alliteration figure of a speech in which the consonant sound is repeated two or more closely placed words like a uh, in a stanza one body breath b sound is repeated war winter w sound is repeated and then metaphor uh, stanza one uniform refers to the military of different countries and uh, war stanza two wars war time is compared to the winter season okay winter season war star wait like that okay then repetition also used in the entire poem okay remember word is repeated five time in the poem and remember no man are for and no country is repeated in the first and fifth stanza okay repetition also used then enjambment means hota hai ki running lines jo hoti hai poetry is ki one lines to next line tak usme kya hota hai koi bhi chitra ka punctuation nahi diya hota hai ya fir stop hone ka koi indication nahi diya hota hai theek hai to usko bolte hai to ye stanza number 1 mein line number 2 3 4 stanza 2 mein line 3 and 3 and uh, line stanza number 3 mein line number 1 2 and 3 stanza 4 mein line 1 and 2 stanza 5 mein line 2 and 3 mein use kiya gaya hai okay so that's all for this If you like my video please share and subscribe my channel Vinita Shekhawat thank you so much